<sighs> Hello again. Right. Now, for a change, and at last I'm going to show you some chords to, um, to play, because playing guitar is not all about doing ladder exercises and picking exercises and stuff like that. That is, if you like, the going to the gym part of it, um, the actual performance part of it. Well, we need to make some music, don't we? That's what it's all about. Um, so I'm going to introduce you to four chords. This is going to... Well, it might seem like it's going to limit your repertoire, but you can probably manage about half a million songs um, with these four chords. Uh, you can manage songs with uh, less than these four chords, if you like. Uh, there's lots of them out there. Um, how are we going to learn the chords? Okay. We're going to learn them with bits of paper like this. Okay. What I want you to do is to go out and buy one of these blocks of note papers. Okay, just buy one of those. I find them really useful um, because what you can do is is write down things like this on them. Or for your exercises, how about one like this? Here's a your picking exercise. Once on each string, do quarter notes, down, up, alternating, then do eighth notes, down, up, alternating. Ring a bell? If you write down the exercises on bits of paper like this, the beauty of these tiny bits of paper versus a notebook is that when you want to expand what's on them, you can take the old ones, throw them away, produce new ones, keep them in a stack. Um, Here's a stack of the things that I'm working on at the moment. Blah, 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 blah. And I can, when I sit down to practice, I can just work through the stack. Um, when I don't need to practice something anymore, I can throw away that piece of paper. I can add things in the middle, at the end, wherever I want to. Very useful. Now, this piece of paper here has a chord on it. And it's got a chord diagram on it. The chord is C and that's indicated at the top here. This bit here is a diagram of the neck of the guitar. Okay, so if I put this along here, you can see how it works. These lines, these lines here are the strings, the lines going across are the frets. Okay, so on the guitar it would be in that orientation. In most of the books you'll see, it's in this orientation, like this. Now the strings are numbered 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I've numbered the frets as well. There's 1, 2, and 3. 0 represents this bit here, the nut. That's called the nut of the guitar, and that's like the zeroth threat. Fret, not threat. Fret, zeroth fret. On the guitar, on the uh, on the strings, I've put dots where a finger goes, and alongside the dot, I've put a number which shows the number of the finger that you're going to use to hold it down there. Okay. Now, important also to notice is that up here, there's an empty circle at the nut same here. Okay? Now that means that when you form that chord that isn't what's called an open string. Okay? So there's that C chord with my fingers, third finger, third fret, fifth string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, first finger, first fret, second string. Okay? Now, if I strum down that... You notice I'm playing two notes that I'm not fingering, and those are those ones indicated by the circles there. Uh, I'm doing this in reverse in the, in the PC monitor, so it's um, awkward to get my fingers in the right place. But that zero and that zero there indicate that you sound those strings as well, as part of this whole chord. The sixth string has absolutely nothing on it, which means it's not part of the chord. Okay? 
So this particular C chord, this way of playing a C chord, you only strum the five, four, three, two, one strings. Okay? And these two here are open, and you let them sound. This one here, you don't strum. Okay? That's the basics of um, a chord diagram. And remember, it goes on the neck like that, fits like that. You generally see it printed like that on things. Now, up the side here, you see some numbers. This is another way of writing down chords in something that's called tab, tab notation. Instead of using all that complicated musical note notation, what guitarists do is quite often is write down uh, notes, melodies, anything you like, chords, using numbers. Now, the stack of numbers here, the string 1 at the bottom, and there's a 0 there, which means that string 1 is open. Then it has a 1 on string 2, which means you hold down string 2 at fret 1. Then there's a 0, which means you leave the third string open. Then there's a 2, which means you hold down the second fret on the, fifth str on the fourth string. A 3, which means you hold down the third fret on the fifth string, then there's a bar there which means you don't do anything with that string. Okay, That's called tab notation and if you see that lines up with the strings like that, so that's how it works, it's basics of it. So on this one piece of paper you've got the name of the chord, you've got a diagram of the chord which lines up with the neck like that and you've got the tab on there. I've also numbered the strings and change hands, the frets. Okay, so that's everything you need to know. Oh, and the, the, the finger numberings are there. Remember the fingers are one, two, three, and four on chord diagrams. Sometimes people use a thumb over the top like say like that and they use the thumb to hold down the fifth and that's usually indicated with a T with a capital T if you're using your thumb over the top to hold down a string like that okay um, that's probably a lot of information thrown at you in one lump um, let's uh, let's look at the other three chords okay uh, probably the best thing to do is to get yourself a piece of paper and a pen and come along and I'll hold up these you pause the video and copy the piece of paper okay